Hi everyone and welcome to the pixeldatabase.net picture of the day episode number 10. In this video I'm going to show you a couple of things I'm going to try to do with this image so I'm going to go ahead and save it and I will just call this Gotham. Now I'm going to go over to my website which is pixeldatabase.net the very first thing I'm going to do, I've got some uh, queries already saved over here. So the very first thing I'm going to try to do is make the sign a, a white, kind of a white, because we're going to, after I do the changes, I want the sign to still show up. So I'm going to just explain what I'm doing. I'm setting the color to white. I'm giving it an X between here and here and a Y. Turn the color picker on. I can just, oops. Just kind of show you. So the the Y is going to be in this range to here. So until I get a rectangle, this is the easiest way to do that. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. I'll show you. Okay. So now the sign's kind of a white neon. It's not very uh, high def, but that's okay. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go back over here. I am going to try. Let me show you this right here. The the grass right here this is very dark if you click in here there's a little bit of green but it's I got a lot of uh, blue and red in it so I'm gonna subtract some blue and red okay and now that's a little bit greener kinda of did that too but that's okay and a little bit over here did the same thing and I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna change the red car I'll show you this keep your eye on this car right here as I paste in this query I'm going to swap the green and red pixels, but I'm only going to do it where the blue-red difference is less than negative 15. So if you subtract blue from red, you're going to get a negative number in the negative 40s or so. So that'll be quite enough for our criteria here. But, and also I only wanted it to do on the X value, I wanted it to be to the left of between these two cars and I wanted the Y to be greater than about right there and I'll go ahead and just apply this query okay and now our car is green that car my car I wish that was my car I don't even have a car now I'm gonna go ahead and go back over to our little query here and I'll grab another one I right hear I'm gonna attempt the building kind of a bluer color so if I do this the building is kind of a little bit more blue and that's all a little bit more blue did that and now the last thing I'm gonna do I tried to do the sky completely tonight but I didn't really like the way it worked so I'm gonna do it here in a few I've got about four here to do It'll be real quick and then we'll be done so I'm gonna first do this is gonna be the very top here just everything from here up roughly okay that's pretty easy now we're gonna go over to here and this is gonna do to the left of the building let me paste that in and it's on my list to be able to do a batch query where you have a bunch all at once but I haven't got to that point okay so that kinda took care of that you notice this little line here gets kinda done and now we are going to go over to back to my little number three and this is going to do to the right of the building if I can get that up to the top it's going to do everything here so we got our X greater than 700 and blue green is just the sum of blue plus green okay and now that does all that now I've got one more and this is the last one and I'll even hide the color picker for that before we do it okay so that kinda did all that now the only area here that's not really done is this but I'm not gonna mess with that I think that looks kinda neat obviously it doesn't look as good as his original picture pixeldatabase.net allows you to isolate certain I guess you'd call them pixel ranges or just ways to so you can tell some groups of pixels from others. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and I'm going to download it so I can show this person see if they like it. If you have any questions or video requests please let me know and I'm going to call this Gotham Knight. Alright thanks for watching have a great day.